Hey guys, um, I'm taking a break from work. I feel like I'm having one of those days or just weeks that work is just kicking my butt. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? We had like this huge RFP due and um, it's basically those of you who work with RFPs, I feel like can understand a lot of times when somebody submits an RFP that we have all this work to, we have to do to fill out. It's almost like they already know who they're going to be working with. So it's just like a formality to go through the RFP process. So we just filled out this entire RFP and we kind of have this gut feeling that we're not going to be awarded the project. So it's like you do all this crazy work and late nights and just double checking and triple checking everything, just knowing that you pretty much have lost the deal anyway. So that kind of blows, but it's over it was submitted yesterday and today I'm just behind on my other tasks that I have to do so I've been trying to get caught up on that but I will say it is a beautiful day today it was so pretty yesterday too I was lucky enough um, I met up with my friend Chandler and just got outside for a minute and took some photos and did some like creative stuff so I did get to do that yesterday which was great and today I haven't done anything really that creative, um, but I do want to go sit outside for a minute. We literally cleaned off the deck yesterday. Um, Taylor and I, it was just beautiful outside, so Taylor and I thought we would spend some time outside, take Hobbs outside so he can get some fresh air, even though I think we're, we think he's allergic to the outside, but it's still good for him to get out for, you know, every now and then. But I was going to film a reel of my house just to like post and have something more interesting on my Instagram page. I'm like so over Instagram, you guys. I don't know if I'm the only one. I just feel like YouTube has been way more fun and easier to like connect and be real and not have to like, wor like I don't know if worry is the right word, but not have to feel like you have to post every single day, if that makes sense, um, in order to keep up like engagement and keep up just with the, I guess, algorithm. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But my house is kind of a mess right now. And when I say mess, I just mean we have stuff everywhere. So I just feel like I don't want to deal with that right now. But I wanted to give you a few updates. The first one is this poor fiddle leaf fig that we I showed you guys the other day we were trimming. <laughs> this guy's not doing well. We just put a bunch of leaves in that bag that he lost. These ones, like all of those ones. And I have scissors because we're about to prune it. We want it to grow up, so we're taking this opportunity to just try and save it, but also make it the shape that we want. So we'll see if we can save it. So we've been trimming it. This is what it looks like now. It literally is so sad. Like it kind of looks like my branch over there, doesn't it? But we were gonna, so the point of us trimming it off is it was losing all of its leaves anyway, and we moved it from this corner, which has a vent next to it. Hobbs over here. This is what he does like 80% of his life. <laughs> but there's a vent right here, which was like blowing onto the tree. So we moved over here and these leaves actually look okay. But the reason we trimmed off all the other branches is because we want it to grow. Like apparently if you prune it the right way, you can shape the tree how you want it. So our goal is to have it grow straight and then have like a round top. Um, this one, I don't know if we've killed it yet. People keep saying that we haven't and then it'll come back in the spring. So we're just trying to, trying to hold on to it for dear life. But this one may, may have been mistreated a little far too long so we might have to get a new one but we're gonna try and save this one so we moved over to here for now but what we're going to do i don't know if you guys remember this pot that i bought in a different vlog and then i painted it white so we have this huge like oversized planter that we're just going to put in this corner right here there's a vent right here too so we're gonna have to figure out how to block it so it doesn't do the exact same thing that it did in that corner over there. But anyway, so this planter will have that fiddle leaf fig in. Hopefully it'll start growing back in spring so it doesn't just look like a branch in this room that we have. And then we'll have a chair that I ordered for right here. Side table and a lamp, I think is what we're gonna do. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is we actually cleaned out our deck 
yesterday, like I mentioned. So this is it cleaned off. I mean, we haven't pressure washed or anything and these boards are, we believe 20 years old. I think this, this house has been here for like 20, 21 years and we think these boards are original to the original build. So yeah, we have a lot of opportunity out here. I think what we're gonna do also, so gross, we have to pressure wash all that like algae and mildew or whatever <laughs> that is off. This grill doesn't even work, so we have to get rid of that. There's just too much work to do before this baby comes. But okay, so what I wanted to show you guys is what I think we're gonna do. We have like, let me turn you around, hold on. So we have like major plans that we would like to accomplish in this backyard, but obviously I think we need to wait and, and save up and so we can invest that money properly. So we're gonna have like a phase one to updating our patio and we basically just want to have a space that we can come out that feels nice, that has room for us to be able to enjoy like weather um, and take Shay out and be able to, for her to be outside as well. So I think what we're gonna do is, let me show you this. So I think what we're gonna do is of course get rid of this terrible railing. This is like the biggest eyesore I think I've ever seen. Like I just don't get it, but I guess big chunky railings were like the thing back then, 20 years ago. So we're gonna get rid of this railing and we're going to extend the porch only to where it is right now, but all the way down. So like this part will now come out to like here. So we're only adding like whatever this space is all the way down. So we're not adding a ton, um, but we figured we're gonna extend the porch probably further at some point anyway. But if you can see, let me turn around so that you can see this. If you can see my yard right now, it's terrible. Um, but at some point we wanna level it off, or we might, I think leveling it's kind of expensive. So I think we just have to figure out when we get there. But in order, well we definitely have to remove this tree because this tree is dying. But in order to level it off, obviously they're gonna have to have access to like this area and we want to build the um, deck further out but we would wait to extend it even further from here until we've gotten everything leveled just to make sure that the deck isn't in the way of leveling because what would be worse is us building out the deck and then having to remove it in order to like level the yard if that makes sense so anyway we have a ton of work back here to do and I'm kind of like overwhelmed especially because I'm gonna be probably in my third trimester when we start like working on it um, but it's all good problems to have I feel like it's always fun to have the opportunities to change something make something your own make it like feel nice and new again so that's what we're gonna be working on probably at the end of March maybe in April okay so I'm back inside I'm wearing <laughs> all black because I have a spray tan on. I don't know about you guys, but I just feel so much better when I put a spray tan on. So yeah, I try and do a spray tan like once a week. You comfy? <laughs> anyway, so today I actually like washed my hair. It's kind of fluffy, which I don't love when it's like fluffy. Um, but that's just like day one washed hair. Tomorrow it'll look better. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm about to do my nails. I feel like I have like one day a week where I do like my spray tan, my hair wash, and my nails. It's like just get it all done in one day. Today is that day. So I just got these in the other day and there's the static nails, the press on nails. I, my other nails fell off so they look so terrible. Don't judge me. But um, anytime I press, like anytime I post my press on nails on Instagram, I feel like so many of you guys always message me about static nails and how I should try them. So weirdly enough, they reached out to me the other day and of course I was like, sure, everyone keeps saying good things about them. So I'm gonna try these. I have, I've heard mostly good things from people about these, um, but there is one person that came into my inbox basically saying that they ruined her nails. So I'm a little nervous about that, but to be honest, I feel like gel ruins my nails more than press-ons do. So. 
I didn't ask this girl if she'd ever gotten gel or SNS before because I feel like that would have been good to know. If she didn't, then she probably wouldn't have much to compare it to, but the Kiss nails are definitely, I have found, better for my nails than like gel or SNS, but they don't stay on as long and they, your nails just pop off randomly. So it's like pros and cons to everything. I've been loving press-ons because it saves so much freaking time and money for that matter. Um, but I also am just trying to avoid nail salons, so who knows, I might go back to that after I have this baby. Um, so I'm gonna try on these static nails. I will show you guys what I'm doing and if I like them. guys so this is the final I guess situation <laughs> um, I love it I think they look so good I left them a little bit longer than I normally do when I do just like my normal nude ones and I absolutely love it because you know I won't be able to have my nails this long once the baby's here so I'm going to take advantage why not but it's just this like brown I don't know if this lighting is very good but it's like this chocolate brown color and I did trim a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of the length off and then of course I just shaped it to be this like pointier shape. But I love it. I think they look so cool. And the deck just looks so nice. So I got this side table from CB2 that like goes on, like this part goes under your couch and then this part can be like, you can put like your um, laptop or drinks or whatever while you're like sitting on the couch. But I could have sworn it was black and it's definitely gray. I mean, that's black, that's gray. I just don't think this will go. I don't know why this isn't focusing. I just really don't think that it'll go in that space. All right, so this is what it's supposed to do on your couch. I had this here, which usually goes in here. So I was gonna move this back. Just set it right here for now. So this is what it's supposed to be. I need to vacuum this carpet, Hobbs is tore apart a toy last night. Um, I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but I definitely thought it was black. Does it look bad against the black fireplace? Hmm, I can't tell. What do you guys think? just had lunch with my friend Allie. I haven't seen her, I think since we told her I was pregnant, which was in November. And it is currently February or maybe it's March. It's February 27th. 
So that was a long time, but um, it was so good to see her. We just went to a quick little restaurant, JCT Kitchen in like West Side Midtown area. And it was so nice for number one to get out of the house. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just like, it's just kind of crazy how it changes your perspective on like any time you can leave the house, like how nice that is. So I'm really grateful. But now I'm gonna go, I think run a few errands. I need to get gas because I'm on reserve. And then just gonna go back home for a bit, I guess. <laughs> I have nothing else to do. So I hope you guys are having a good day. just got back from the um, baby boutique that I just went to and they had some really good stuff there and I'm like so excited to have a boutique like that so close to my house but I wanted to show you guys what I got so I just got two obviously very basic very neutral like just I guess ribbed knit this is a set and then this is just by itself um, it's from Jamie K, which I actually have seen them on Instagram and was going to order some stuff online, but they had it at the boutique, so of course I got it. And I did get a three to six month instead of like zero to three. The lady was saying, you'll probably be leaving the house more at three to six month than you are at zero to three. So I just figured since these are a little bit nicer, I would get them in the bigger size. And then the last thing I got was this little teether, which of course is neutral. And I just feel like it's so cute. I just like love the way that it looks. So super cute, super happy with it. Yes, I'm so excited about this package. I mean, this blanket I got for the nursery and I'm so excited. I've been looking for one like this for so long and the only ones I've been able to find have been Mongolian cashmere, which have been like very expensive. This one I think was like, I wanna say like 75 bucks, I'm not sure. But it's for the nursery, it's just like super, super cozy. I cannot wait to get the chair in so then I can drape this on it. So this is what it kind of looks like laid out. I just feel like it adds like a lot of like chunky texture or it will to the room. I just think it's so, so pretty. I also wanted to mention, I don't want Hop's getting on this, so I'm gonna grab it. Sorry, bud. I don't want you getting dog hairs on it. Um, I wanted to mention, I, this table is growing on me. I absolutely love it. I've been sitting there. I sat there last night and just worked on my laptop for a bit. Um, it's like so, so convenient. So while it is not black, which I thought it was, it's just such a good table that I like can't return it now. I'm obsessed. So it is Sunday and I'm trying to get at least some things accomplished. I feel like for me, like a happy Sunday is when I get a few tasks marked off my to-do list. I know I'm kind of a freak with that stuff. So 
yeah. But today I really want to, let me show you, hold on. We're gonna put the fiddle leaf fig in here, but in order to put this inside, it has a hole at the bottom, which you can see like right there. So it, we can't put it directly on the hardwood floors without like a thing underneath it. So we got a, just like a, I don't even know what you call this, but it goes underneath so that the water can drain out, but it doesn't get on your floors. So I just gotta paint this white to match that pot, and then we can replant the um, fiddle leaf fig. All right, got my setup. It is so nice outside. It's like, I don't know what the temperature is, like 70 something, like let me look. 77 degrees in February, or is it March 1st yet? February 28th, like that is, to me like insane I'm not complaining because i get to sit outside and enjoy it i'm about to have to take the sweatshirt off because it's kind of hot um tried to convince taylor to come outside so we'll see if he actually comes and helps me but i'm just gonna paint this really quick it won't even take me that long honestly and then i kind of want to paint the front door because it's been that green tape has been sitting there for like months and i just don't know when else i'm gonna do it so maybe i'll start painting the front door today who knows finally finished painting the front door and I'm so happy we've had green tape sitting there for literally like three months maybe like only two months but I think it was like before Christmas when we thought we were going to paint it and then it's just been like sitting there ever since so we finally painted it Taylor was a little mad at me because I like forced him to go outside to paint like the top part that I couldn't reach but you know, I'm pregnant, I don't wanna get on a super tall ladder, so I made him do it. But it's done, um, we're gonna let all of the paint dry and then peel the tape off tomorrow. So we will be done with that project, thank God. So now we can, I'm just trying to think of like all the other projects we have to get done before the baby gets here because then it'll just get really hard to do once she's here. Um, so yeah, I, we are about to cook some dinner and then probably just watch a movie or something nothing crazy just sunday night activities so i hope you guys are having a good week so far or start to the week and i'm gonna end this vlog here so i hope you guys liked it if you did please go ahead and give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and yeah i will see you guys on my next vlog mm -hmm.